this is Charlie giving you Tuesday nights slash Wednesdays uh, video and I wanted to cover off mean reversion a mean reversion tool this week and I've covered off moving averages before but um, and the different ways of using them uh, but just as a reminder moving averages are an average of price over a certain amount of price bars so that's all they are so I've got three on here at the moment I've got a 20 period moving average which is just each each um, new plot on the 20 period moving average is just um, taking in the average price of the last 20 bars and likewise with the 50 which is my black line here that's taking the average price of the last 50 bars and this 200 is taking the average price of the last 200 bars so just sometimes it's too easy when we've got um, indicators on our charts so just forget what they are actually doing and the moving average is a great mean reversion tool in that um, prices like to revert to their average price and so if we look at the 20 period here we can see that um, even when price is in a downwards trend it will come back up to its 20 um, in the short term um, because that's its average price of the last 20 periods so it, that markets do like to mean revert um, to whatever the moving average might be and so when it's in a downwards trend it will mean revert to the 20 until it decides it needs to do a larger retracement of course and likewise when we're in the short term upwards trend at the moment just over the last month or so um, the 20 period moving average we can see it just came um, this was well, just the pound here um, came down to the 20 period just um, what's that last week and so mean reverted back down to its 20 then so once you actually appreciate what these moving averages are doing you can then start looking at different ways of using them um, to technically use them with your trading as well because if you think of them as a mean reversion tool then it starts to open up opportunities because I now know that okay where the price is above its 50 period moving average as well so at some point it will probably want to mean revert back down to that although it's already done it since broken up there but the the average itself the, the slope of the average that's still sloping down at the moment maybe that starts to slope upwards that starts to slope upwards as well again that would lean um, make me um, lean towards okay if it does pull back to this zone then um, you know, price may may bounce from that area so and also you can look at them as a, an area where you say okay looking like we're in a mean reversion or pullback period at the moment and um, and so where might a market want to pull back to so even looking at this chart right now with no other analysis I can see that this 200 period my yellow line up here is starting to come into play it's not that far away bear in mind it's moving with every day that passes moving down so mean reversion suggests that well actually um, this market may want to come up and test that 200 period moving average because that's its average price of the last 200 bars and it hasn't been up to test that in a while so if we scroll back we can see that since breaking back down in May last year we have yet to see the pound get back to that 200 so all of a sudden you can start to combine strategies with moving averages and um, and mean reversion and if you can get the right timing the timing right then they can actually be a really useful tool for um, using um, for identifying where price may actually be wanting to go to it's a bit like a tractor beam sometimes anyway some food for thought there this midweek video i shall see you on friday for live trading